This is Ray. Ray is a data analyst at a German manufacturer of luxury vehicles and motorcycles. In her job, Ray often needs to answer questions such as, where can I find information about the types of vehicles we produce? How can I find out which suppliers we use for wheels? Who can tell me how many vehicles we sold in North America in the last year? But to get this information, Ray needs to access hundreds of individual systems and applications and manually compile this data. Sometimes she does not even know which applications to look into, so she asks Rob, another data analyst who's been with the company longer. But that's not always helpful. Ray is often left more confused than when she started. That's because she and Rob don't always speak the same language, at least not semantically. This is the semantic gap. So what if we told you that Ray's organization can go from static, isolated systems to a flexible, integrated enterprise information architecture that empowers its members to quickly and efficiently find accurate, precise answers to their day-to-day -day questions. How? With a knowledge graph to bridge the semantic gap by enabling machine-interpretable, explicit semantics across the entire data value chain. Drive more informed decisions and encourage innovation and help drive Ray's organization strategy away from application centricity and towards data and knowledge centricity. So what is a knowledge graph, you might ask? Think of a knowledge graph as a central repository for all of Ray's organization's metadata. Information about concepts and processes relevant to the business domain, their logical structures and relations, as well as relevant attributes that describe them. Metadata from and about hundreds of disparate applications now stored in a semantic model that helps both humans and machines understand the meaning of data and that can be used to drive AI algorithms and power end-user search interfaces. Big tech companies have been using knowledge graphs successfully for over a decade to power their search engines, social media platforms or virtual assistants. It's time for Ray's organization to exploit the benefits of this technology as well. For Ray, this means that her organization's information is easily accessible to her via a uniform, centralized user interface where she can find all the answers she is looking for. No more silos, no more media breaks, no more endless meetings trying to get the information you need, no more misunderstandings, no more ambiguity. So Ray can shine in her job.